Oh hello, we are on the fifth map of five in the semi-finals of Spike vs Rainbow Shadow. We're on Fuse, which Spike didn't make, but I mistakenly said he did in a different video. Uh, this map was made by City. It has one very open mega health and two 50 health, but no mega, uh, sorry, two 50 armors, but no mega armor. It's a very good map. I like it a lot. Spike taking advantage of that back wall on the mega uh, mega health. Unable to hit Rainbow Shadow there. Spike down to one health and finally he does die. Go watch the other uh, maps. They've all been incredibly close. This whole series has been incredibly close. That's why we're on the fifth map, of course. I'm not sure what the map picks were though, so we definitely did have two in a row from Rainbow, so potentially uh, we've definitely had some swapping of maps, but I'm not sure who picked this map, I'm not sure who picked what. One to one the current scoreline though, and neither player really able to posit a control onto the map, but Spike... A little bit worse on the armor and health side of things than Rainbow, having only picked up a couple of small bits, bits and bobs. Mega arm, mega health going to be up. I don't know why I keep mixing those two up. Spike going to go for the armor, but it's not there. There it is, Rainbow's right on time for it. So Rainbow has timing on that armor and on the mega health. And Spike seems to sort of have... He probably has timing on that armor now. But struggling for ammo for sure. Scrapping around for little items. Doesn't want to go through that gully for exactly that reason. There's Rainbow Shadow on the other side of it. There's the mega health going over to Spike. Now he might be able to start his offensive. He's going in there now. Before Rainbow manages to get back to that point, he's going to take the Vortex. It is quite a tricky Vortex to take. It can be a little bit difficult. Going for the Crylink, potentially more for the ammo onto the Electro for, than anything. This map has some very tight corners, and the Electro can be incredibly powerful. So that shared ammo pool means that the Crylink... Hell of a lot more powerful just as ammo boxes for the uh, for the Electro. As Spike connects a beautiful rocket directly onto Rainbow Shadow coming around that corner. And Spike evens it up at three, all with three minutes into the game. Doesn't look like we're going to last to three minutes, 33 seconds though. It's both of these two are going at it with very low health. That's one of the main things on these maps that don't have mega armors is that you're always sort of a bit at the low end of health. And that means fights can be over very quickly. Direct rocket there from Rainbow Shadow hitting a beautiful shot. We have some confetti on the screen to dictate that I've been uh, live streaming this stuff for an hour. You can watch this over on my Twitch channel. I stream it live and then upload it over a couple of days. If you are watching live, first video comes out tomorrow. Because you have to wait 24 hours after streaming it before you can upload it to anywhere else. Yada yada Twitch rules. Nice shot there from Spike. Rainbow has started to pick up a lead, but... What's interesting is how Rainbow's... Uh, on this map so far has managed to every time spikes managed to get an item rainbow has been there to knock him down except for when spike was able to um and, and when spike was able to get an item without rainbow being there spike was instantly able to capitalize get a couple of frags but rainbow hasn't let it happen twice and that's why He's 6-3 uh, to three in the lead, but there's Spike, takes the item, but also takes direct rocket to the face. Taking this 50 armor here, again a bit of ammo. And Rainbow's around to be able to do some damage. 
Spike just hasn't been able to get away right now. I think, yeah, Rainbow's done a lot more damage than Spike in this game. 300 more damage doesn't seem like a lot. Although, actually, 300 damage isn't a lot for three kills. It's the three kills. But... Rainbow's been able to connect them together. I think that's one of the key things that... Uh, Rainbow's been connecting that damage. It sure does feel like Rainbow's just been doing a lot more damage than Spike. But it seems to only be a little bit. Like there, you can see that Spike's hitting little bits of damage, but I suppose Rainbow's also hitting big meaty chunks of damage. And at the end of the day, it's not the damage that matters, it's the frags. Frag could cost, could cause you to use 100 damage off a of fresh spawn, or it could be 1000 damage going through multiple armors and multiple healths. The spike goes down again. Just start chipping away, like, like we see it there. Spike has never been able to get full health on this map, and that's partially the map design. But it's partially the way Rainbow's been playing, because like we know Rainbow has had a very high stack at some point in this game, because Spike's done a lot of damage without Rainbow uh, going down. Spike trying to pick up this Devastator. Manages to dodge Rainbow's shots, doesn't manage to take any items, takes a big hit there. Going to be quite low, Rainbow hunting him down. Neither player able to connect too much. Spike doesn't manage to capitalise on Rainbow being there. Only does a little bit of damage to Rainbow in that situation. Um, Spike, I think, really would have been wanting a little bit more when he was shooting over there. Nice shot there from Rainbow. Manages to pick off Spike. This is what we want, Spike connecting shots, it's a mutual frag, this could bring Spike back into the game, we have a very low uh, amount of time left and Spike make a bit of a mistake and he makes the huge error because Rainbow is right there able to capitalise on it. And look at that spectator list there, that is a beautiful spectator list by the way. Load of spectators, this game really booming at the minute, love it. Nice shots there from Spike, but he's unable to connect with any of them. Rainbow, it's a little difficult to use them across that distance. Spike on one health. How's he surviving? How is he still alive? And then he goes down. 12 to 4 with only two minutes left. It is a hell of a task for Spike to come over this. He's going to need to take control of the map entirely right now. If he doesn't, it's over. And he goes down. Rainbow in a little bit more of a contested control. Because Spike's been able to get in there. But I think more at the allowance of Rainbow. It's clever to allow your opponent to take an item. Rather than to take a frag in this situation that Rainbow's in. Minute and a half left. Only got, uh, got to come up 10 frags. So Rainbow can afford to play a little bit um, a little bit where he can give you an item rather than give you a frag or he can give you a frag rather than give you an item and let you in he's got that kind of lead he's not been able to really uh, do that until now you've, you've really got to have like either a ridiculously high frag lead from five minutes or you've got to have uh, a good frag lead at like 8 minutes. Spike's trying to make the comeback though. He's very definitely putting in the work to make this comeback. This is the semi-finals. So we are very much deep into this. Rainbow probably just hiding in a corner somewhere. There is. Not wanting to take the... Oh, no. Going for a slapping contest. Wants the slap. Spike going to blow himself up at the same time as blowing Rainbow up. 
Rainbow knowing that kind of doing that sort of thing wastes a bit of time. And there it is, GG. Rainbow takes it 3 to 2 in the overall, 14 to 8 on this map. A wonderful series. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you on uh, whatever the next video is or the live stream. That will be the grand finals. Thank you for watching and see you next time.